Hey, well, what's up, you guys? How's it going? Hi. Hi, guys. So it is January 28th or 27th. 28th, okay? And we are reporting to you live and direct. Yeah. 45. No, I'm not gonna drop the ad. Please don't. Please don't. I'm not, what? I'm not, I'm not no. Okay, first of all, no, we're no, no, here. No, no. We're trying to have a good time because. We're not, we're not gonna get nobody to line us or anything like that. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, You're I, drunk. <laughs> this, girl's lit. this girl had two shots and a cup of rose. And she's lit. <laughs> it's, just, it's, so, it's so embarrassing, you guys. But. No, no you're, you're having fun. Okay. Yeah. No one's judging. Nothing. No one's it's supposed to be a good time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it sounds like you're having a good time. I need to get on your level. We Girl. need to get on your level. If I want to hang with you tonight, you yeah. better get on my, get do you, on my level. Do you remember that? Do you guys remember that? No. Okay, this is a. So I don't know if you guys remember, but like, do you remember Anne and. Um, uh oh. Face? Oh, yeah. yeah. So like. Yo, we, that girl's a hating ass bitch. Yeah, so me and Anne and like all our, like, the friends, we no, crashed but, birthday. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, she, you remember that? I remember she called me the next day and told me about that. Yeah, so then when we crashed it, it was like, if you want to hang with me tonight, you better get on my level. So that's been like our like thing we always say like as a joke for years because that happened crazy. so long ago. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I said it. <laughs> Cause, but yeah. um, anyway, I was going to say that. Yeah, but I can't do middle part because my gray hairs are oh. gray. Your hair looks actually so good right now. Like how, how No, but it's so much gray like hair. The there. No, my my side part with least grays on this side. Yeah, let me pluck it. Oh god, this is why we I'm don't do it in the car. This is why I'm blonde. I don't yeah. care. I'm like I just started doing it this week, and then today my employee was making fun of me. He was all like, "Wow, you have a lot of gray hair. You're not even that old." What? I was like, "Fuck <laughs> off." He's like, "No, it's a good thing." I'm like. Stop talking about my gray hair. Yeah, the fact that I'm 32 is crazy. The fact that I'm 33. And you know what's crazy? Like, in oh, 10 cute. years, which is nothing, I'm going to be 42. That's wild. Let me do this one. Yeah, it needs a little woman on that side. I'm sweating. I, I, my I, titties uh, are sweating. Oh, my gosh. I'm the one that's working. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Woo! Why did this girl ask for a three queen? When she's just eating the ice cream. Guys, the fifth, the fifth social club is in the room. He's in the world. He's out in the people in the world. All you plan to the mind. It's like probably. Hey guys, welcome. So, just on my way to get some errands done. Okay. It's the new year. I said I was going to try to vlog in the new year, so this is my attempt right now. Um, so let's get it. <clears throat> don't mind my voice. I don't know why I sound like that. But I'm right now I'm on my way to the gym. Um, wearing a hat because my lashes are jacked. <laughs> yeah, but I am on my way to the gym. Just trying to be more consistent overall for the past month i feel like i have been which has been nice um you know i see the little game coming back which is always a nice little motivation push and then after the gym i'm planning to go get um a tan i bought this package and i'm moving i'm actually moving for march so this is like my little vlog especially to build up toward moving yeah, so I'm moving in March, and um, I am moving to the other end of the world. I have, like, I bought a 100-minute package for tanning. I don't know if I can tan that much in one month. <laughs> I will become, I don't know, I'm going to look like a little raisin, a little golden raisin. start of the new year um monday tuesdays are my regular day off but i took an extra day because um my babe her birthday's coming up and by my babe i'm my sis rest in peace in paradise her 
birthday is on Tuesday, so you know, I took a little extra day. I wanted to go on vacation, to be honest. Like, I didn't really want to be in the city, but um, I'm moving, <laughs> so I don't know. I it's just I just think that's not a good time to go on vacation. Uh, I have to buy so many things for the new house, just setting it up, making sure it looks good. Another exciting thing actually for me, um, I haven't been doing my beauty business in a long time, so I'm really excited to get back into doing that. Um, I was talking to my nail tech and um, the last like time I went to see them to get my nails done, they they were talking, they were kind of like on the phone uh, arranging like a lash appointment for one of their clients. So when I saw them last, I was like, you do lashes here now? And um, he's like, yeah, I am. Do you know anybody? I'm like, me. Which is crazy because I feel like God really kind of aligned that the way it did. Because the way I booked that specific appointment was very different in the past like year. And um, nobody was in the salon which is also weird because he's been bumping like bumping so it was really nice i don't think i would have brought that up if like you know there was a bunch of people in the salon it's just not something i would do but yeah i think i don't know i think this year for me too i'm just really trying to put god first and everything and you know just just want to make sure that i lean on him you know I think God also shows us a lot in, in how our life can be so crazy, so crazy, and I'm not going to lie, like the past year or so, I've, the feeling of like hopelessness and helplessness definitely played a big role in how I felt, and that's probably when most people turn to God anyway, but you know, I feel like I kept my feet there, but truly just now seeking him um, as my comfort and my guide. You know, like, I'm a type of person who likes to plan things much well in advance. So when you do that and then everything that you had set yourself up for is completely just shaken and ripped away. You almost have no idea how to navigate yourself, you know, and navigating yourself in a place like that. It really took me a long time to bounce back. I feel like I'm now just kind of getting back to a sense of balance. So, yeah, I'm ready. That's why. That's why I'm really excited for these things, you know. I've been trying to practice gratitude a lot more in my life. Not that I was not grateful ever before, but really practicing that uh, even with the little things. So here we are, ready to go. Ready to go, go, go. My skin looks nice today. Okay. I didn't put sunscreen on, dang it. For my, I forgot to do that because I wanted to do that when I go tanning. I know I'm so like not even that. I look a little sun kissed. I'm not that pale, okay? So, like as pale as I normally am, you know? So yeah. So yeah, and I'm thinking of cooking today. I don't really know what I want to cook. I really, I seen this um, recipe, ganjua. It's a Vietnamese soup, and I'm just really craving that, like, badly right now. So I think, I don't know, after the store, maybe I'll go and try to make it. Oh my god, I'm salivating, but I'd rather just go and eat it. Because, like, who's trying to make a big batch of soup? And the thing is, no, I have no one to cook it for but my for myself. Like, it's just, I don't know something about making like a big bat like making food 
for me anyway like I love to feed people if I'm gonna put effort into cooking and then like if I'm just cooking for myself like I'll just make I'll just order food or just make something like basic you know like I don't really want to put in crazy crazy effort for it watch me end up making just curry chicken uh, it's not even my first pick but whatever I got chicken at home so oh you know what this is good. This is good brainstorming because I've been wanting to make Thai curry again. Because the last time I made it, I put in way too much coconut milk and it tasted literally like just coconut milk. So, you know, it wasn't giving. I think that's what I'm going to do today. That's what I'm going to do. I'm actually driving to the gym because it's, and it's a little distance. I don't know if there's, there's no Asian supermarket over here now that I think about it. And like, I'm in Durham right now. And the way these like stores have their little international aisle, like <laughs> it is just, yeah, it's. I love my Asian culture. I just love, I just love what we can do with our food, the flavors. Mm, I'm getting hungry. I don't even want to go to the gym anymore. I just want to go eat. <laughs> uh, but no, we're gonna do a go workout. I seen this thing. Okay, yes. Please turn your signal on after you change this. I've seen this, um, what's it called? Uh, oh, I totally lost my train of thought. I feel like this angle is making my double chin look chin. I look like fucking Johnny Bravo. You know what's so funny? That's my son. He's, he's so rude. He'll just say, look, I'm going to do an impression of you. That's what he legit does. It just be your own. It just be your own get you, get at you like that. Anyways, I may record my workout. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Is that I got this good workout from Instagram from this guy that I've been following for a while. He's just so ripped, you know? And like... The workout looked really hard. I'm going to try to do it at the end of my workout as like a, a finisher for cardio. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, I always said I always wanted to get abs. But like when I realized how much discipline you actually need, I was just like, mm. you know, like, do people even care about abs these days? You know, like I feel like society doesn't care about abs that much anymore. So do I need it? I don't know. So maybe I'll try. Like I just want to get. I just want to be healthy. But maybe if this journey in like six months is really like good, I'll I want to get there. But for now, like my stomach, I feel like is is not bad. I'm just getting slimmer. I'm just trying to get rid of like the double chin, so my whole face looks good in all the angles. All the angles. <laughs> yep. And then my job. Um, just switched my shift from like the daytime like early daytime like I would be starting at like 4 30 wake up at like 3 crazy but now I'm doing like the night shift so like 5 p.m I start to like 2 so that's not too bad because now I can get to a lot of things during the day the last time I had nights I could not navigate my sleep because oh my gosh oh <gasps> I just seen like a coyote on the side of the road or a wolf. I look like a coyote. That shit. Oh my god, the whole jaw was broke. Oh my gosh. I've never seen roadkill that big. Holy crow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what a fun day to start a vlog, huh? So funny. I need to get a better camera. But you know, I think I think I'm gonna just start with what I've got, cause like you know like who knows even if I'll be you know um, doing this like and being persistent and consistent but you know if if I'm able to make money from my vlogging then I'll reinvest it into myself so let's see how that goes Anyways, I'll catch you guys at the gym.
Oh, Just leaving the gym. I literally had no motivation today whatsoever. <laughs> but I went for a good little half hour and did what I needed to do. Yeah, I went for a quick little half hour, did what I needed to do. I did a little cardio, I did a little legs. But I was honestly just not feeling it today. Oh my goodness. Well, let me turn these off. I don't know if I turned that off. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not feeling it today so much. I'm like tired. It might've been like from the weekend. Look at the little stretches, like how much my face looks so much different from just like stretching my face. And I think like, I know I only went for like half an hour, but like, you know, it was just really just to get the blood flowing, things like that. Like I'm really doing it for my health. Um, you know, apparently it's supposed to release serotonin or whatever to help your mental state, which I feel like we all kind of need a little boost all the time. You know, we're not as active as we used to be. You know, we're just a society that just stares into our phone all day or whatever it is. We just don't communicate. We've become isolated individuals. And, you know, it's really just not the way um, humans were intended to be. So, yeah. Anyways, I feel like it was a good workout for how I was feeling today like I really was not motivated my body just does not I don't have the energy it could have been because I went out on the weekend and then I worked yesterday so that could be the reason but yeah so now so I was hungry and I was talking about all this food that I wanted to eat but honestly I forgot that like I have food at home someone brought me some food yesterday and it's like waiting for me I'm like happy about that I'm so happy because like like I just don't want to cook like I just want someone to cook for me all the time you know so if you have someone in your life that cooks for you just know that you're blessed because there's people like me who have to cook everything all the time for everyone and it's like do we want to do that do we want to be cooking all the time to be honest no no we don't want to cook all the time does it feel good to feed people yes but you know what it's also amazing to be fed you know what i mean like yeah <laughs> and that might be because i was spoiled um my son's father cooked all the time and i was a little entitled because like it, it got to the point where like I would come home from work and I remember just being like you literally didn't cook are you serious like I just worked all day and there's no food at home like and I would get mad and look at me now I don't have those luxuries anymore oh 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 oh, oh. okay fine safety <laughs> just built up here I honestly don't even want to go in but we're going just finished at the gym honestly I really didn't want to go and I'm really glad I did go even though it was just for like 40 minutes you know that's all we really need right so I'm really glad I went because I haven't gone in a week. But that's the journey of the fitness and life. Yeah, I feel really good. I feel much more energized. You know, I was kind of cramping and stuff. So it was kind of like, ugh. <sighs> Anyways, um, I am going to go to the grocery store now. cook some rasta pasta but I kind of want to cook something healthier for myself although I'm trying to do some intermittent fasting like off the record <laughs> like I don't want to tell myself I'm intermittent fasting because then I feel like there's pressure but if I'm just doing it because that's just 
what I'm doing. I feel like it's it works out a little better. I don't know, I'm a little weird. Good. Okay. So, yeah. I am gonna... Because, like, right now I'm working really weird hours. I'm working, like, night shift. So, I finish work sometimes at midnight or 2 a.m. And it's 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 really late um, but I'm gonna see if I can try to finish work oh. I'm gonna see if I could just finish work uh, it dropped right you know I can't I can't vlog like that that's so unprofesh I'm just cramping up and I can't deal with my phone just falling off right now. I'll check in later. This is Janice. She is doing very well today. 